Hi everyone, welcome back to Innovation. Last time we were in class, we finished up our musical instruments so that way when we press the letters that are on the instrument, it will play the notes. So there's our saxophone, our keyboard, and our saxophone, our trumpet, keyboard, and saxophone. So let me do my trumpet so you can hear it. And my keyboard. So we now have all three instruments finished and programmed. The only thing is, this is kind of complicated to play all of these instruments at one time. So what I'd like to do is add in some way of having the computer play a song for me using my instruments that I choose. So I'm going to add in a new sprite. And I think a great sprite to add in to play a song would be this radio here. That looks pretty good. And I need to add in some code to my radio. The first thing we're going to look at is a new kind of variable. It's actually several variables put together, and it's called a list. So we're going to click on this little block here that says make list. And I want this to be for all sprites. Um, so we have our song. And I'm going to call this song, a new list called song. And you can see it up here on the screen now, but I don't want it to show on the screen. That's kind of ugly. We're going to get rid of that. Move our radio down here to the corner, and there we go. So now we have to add some notes to our song. So I'm going to go to an event. When green flag clicked, first I want to make sure that there is nothing in our song. So I'm going to delete anything that is in there. And then I'm going to add my different notes for my song. So let's find a song we could play. So I thought we would add Ode to Joy to our radio. So what we're going to do is we have to add in all of these different notes. And we need, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 notes. And you can tell that because there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and I added in a couple extra just to make it sound good because it didn't have the whole thing in there. So we need at least 24 uh, notes added to our song. So we're going to put in add to song. And we need 24 of these. So there's one. There's two. There's three. There's four, but we're going to do this a little bit fast. I'm going to right click and hit duplicate. Now we're at eight, double eight, and we're at 16. And then double 16, and we're at 32. So that should be more than enough, and we'll get rid of the extras if we need to. And now we're ready to put in the notes of our song. So let's go through the notes. The first one is an E. The next one is an E. Then we want to do F. Then we want to do G. Then another G. Then an F. Then an E. Then a D. Then two C's. So that's the first bit. Then we're going to do a D, then an E, then another E, then two Ds, then two Es, then an F, two Gs. then an F, then an E, then a D, then a C, then another C, then a D, then an E, then a D, then two Cs. 
we got two extra, so we're going to throw those away. So there's all the notes to our song. We are going to put that in. So when we click, click the green flag, we are going to get all of the notes to our song added to our band. Now we have to put in the code that's going to make our program go through all of the notes and tell which instrument to play the notes. So I'm going to go with an event called when this sprite clicked. So when we click on the radio, move this around so we can see it. We're going to first create a variable. And the variable is going to be note counter. And it's fine if it's for all sprites. We're going to uncheck it because we don't need it up there on the screen. Drag our set variable to and set no counter to one. Because when we start counting through our list, we start with the number one. Next, we want to put in a repeat loop. So go to control, put in a repeat, and we're going to repeat the length of our song. So we're going to look at our variable again, and we'll see there's a variable down here that says length of song. So that way, if we make our song longer or shorter, it will go through the entire song, no matter how long or how short we make it. Then we're going to go to events, and we're going to broadcast a message. And the message we're going to do is broadcast the next note. So to do that, we have to look for a block that says item of song. And we're going to put that right inside the message. The item we want to broadcast is where we are in the current count. So the variable that's keeping track of our count is our note counter. So we'll put that right there. So we'll go through each note. Then we want to make the count go up by one after we've played the note. So we're going to change the note counter by one. And then finally, we want it to wait a little bit. So I'm going to create a new variable. I'm going to call this tempo. That'll slow down or speed up our song. So I want to put an event that is a wait down here. And I want to wait tempo. So I'm going to look at my variables, find tempo, and put that in. Now when I press green flag, I want to set the tempo. And I'm going to set it to 0.25. So that'll put a quarter of a second wait between each note before it starts to play the next note. So now we have all of our code for our radio. Now we have to make our note on our keyboard play when we press our radio. To do that, we're going to add in a duplicate of all of these notes. And instead of being when key pressed, we're going to add in when I receive the proper message. So the message is going to be each of the notes. So we're going to do the message for A. Actually, we start it with C. So we'll do C first. C. And I'm going to just duplicate this code and put it right there. Then we're going to do another one for D. When I receive. New message, D. And duplicate this code. And we're just going to continue that process. So I'm going to pause the video for a second so I can do all that. So now I have put in all of the messages when I receive each of the notes. And I'm ready to play my song. So I'm going to hit the green flag. That sets up all of my song. Press the K so I know it's playing on the keyboard. And click my radio. And there's my whole song. That's all we have for today. Bye for now.